Welcome back to the reading playlist where I do a deep dive into an album and give you book recommendations based on the songs and the artist of the music. And today we have no one other than SZA. More specifically, we will be doing SOS, her most recent studio album. If you're new here, my name is Ebony. Welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. This feels very full circle for me because my first ever The Reading Playlist video was featuring SZA and Control. So I've been a fan of SZA for a long time and I handpicked some books that I think really speak to the themes that she incorporates a lot in her albums and in her music so i'm excited to give you some book recommendations based on that so i'll first begin with one of the more popular songs on the album kill bill clearly this is a nod to the quentin tarantino film and sizza does love a good reference to pop culture and her music her songs are littered <laughs> with them throughout this album. A book that reminded me of Kill Bill is My Sister the Serial Killer. And this is by Oyunke Braithwaite. And in the story, it follows our main character, Kreede, and her sister. Her sister is in fact a serial killer. And for Sis's lyrics on Kill Bill, she says, I just killed my ex, not the best idea. His new girlfriend's next. How do we get here? And this reminded me 100% of the sister from my sister, the serial killer. The premise of the story is that we follow our main character, whose sister is a serial killer. And her responsibility is to just ensure that her sister does not get caught for the crimes that she commits and her sister is essentially a black widow type or praying mantis um, type of serial killer during which she kills the men that she mates with so it mates with like why did i just say it like that but you get the gist and what's also interesting is that you'll see the underlying themes of beauty standards, um, societal norms and expectations for women, which is also 1000% been a continuous theme throughout SZA's music. So then I'll next go into, honestly, I'm just doing the songs that I really, really like and I think that kind of encapsulate the entire album. So Snooze, which SZA just released a music video for and oh my god, Justin Bieber in it and they deserve a moment but it was such a good video i loved it and then the snippet at the end let me know if you watched the video what you thought of it but anyway so we'll go back to snooze obviously this is about being in love the lyrics go i can't lose when i'm with you how could i snooze and miss the moment you're just too important so when i first heard this i thought of one of my favorite romance books of all time um, Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson and I wanted to highlight this book as well because there are a lot of nods to black art, black music within Open Water that I think coincide well with SZA. SZA was a member or is a member of TDE like Kendrick Lamar so they come from the same label and Caleb Azuma Nelson mentions Kendrick Lamar in his novels. He also mentions like Zadie Smith but essentially Open Water is about a complicated relationship between a photographer and a dancer who meet and kind of interweave in and out of each other's lives. But it's told from the perspective, well, it's second person narration. It's told from the perspective of the man and he kind of has to also like deconstruct his own traumas and his own rationings with masculinity and what it means to be a man and breaking down toxic masculinity in order to feel like he's ready for this relationship. So I feel like in the same way, SZA does something similarly with femininity and girlhood and breaking down like the traumas from past relationships and sometimes hindering herself in future relationships or in current relationships because of that. And I really like the music video snooze because she had like four or five different love interests, one of them being an AI or a robot, which I thought was really, really cool and interesting. So yeah, I would recommend Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. If you have watched the reading playlist, I recommend this, this book probably in every video, but I really think everyone should read it. So next I'll do Gone Girl, which clearly a book I haven't read myself and can you believe it is Gone Girl. 
I feel like that's a no-brainer when recommending um, a book for this song but I think a, another book that would go very very well with this song is their eyes were watching God and it's because Gone Girl to me felt like being suffocated and in relationships uh, says those lyrics goes I need more space and security I need less voices just you and me I need your touch not your scrutiny squeezing too tight boy you're losing me um, and that reminded me so so much of Janie Crawford of their eyes were watching God by Zora Neale Hurston if you have not read this book please do in this, Jamie Crawford is recounting a the story of her marriages to one of her friends. And Jamie Crawford is an extremely beautiful woman. She has three marriages and we follow her through each of the three marriages, more specifically her dynamics in each of the marriage. Um, she doesn't want to subscribe to the traditional notions of women's roles in marriage and so that causes her to kind of bounce around and she's a very outspoken person she can feel suffocated in relationships very very easily but she's also chasing a love like she wants to be loved like i said janie crawford was constantly belittled in her relationships and she's quick to run away and move on to someone who she feel will treat her better like she does not settle for that and that's what Gone Girl reminds me of. Next we have Ghost in the Machine featuring Phoebe Bridgers. Love this song so much. So Ghost in the Machine to me was all about superficial relationships um, and using relationships as a distraction for maybe some inner work that you have to do. So the lyrics go, can you distract me from all the disaster? Can you touch on me and not call me after? Can you hate on me and mask it with laughter? Can you lead me to the ark? What's the password? This reminded me of Sula. Um, actually, this one, I have two book recommendations. This reminded me of Sula by Toni Morrison. This novel follows our main character, Sula, in um, a very small, segregated town in Ohio during like the 1930s to 19... 50s or so it's a generational novel but it just follows the two characters it's about female friendship and then also a larger theme too is being a pariah being an outcast in a society for not fitting into the expected societal norms and expectations which how many times am i going to say that in this video i don't know but i feel like Siza captures that very well she is very much a person who views men and her proximity to men as a means to leverage power or to feel free in her own way like she doesn't want to be tied down and she just kind of uses these men in a way that benefits her and this causes her to literally be called a witch in her society there's like a mystical kind of unsettling element to Sula's character where strange things happen around her and it's questionable whether or not she had a role in it or not so it reminds me of Sula by Toni Morrison a story on female friendship and then I would also recommend either or by Elif Batuman another book that has so many references to music so i love when books do that but in either or it is the second novel um the sequel kind of to the idiot we follow our main character celine as she is going into her sophomore year at harvard college so it's a university setting but then also following her travels through turkey but the main question of the novel is whether or not Celine wants to live a life that is moral, meaning traditional, or aesthetic, meaning she does things that are kind of questionable, but it lends to a more interesting life. That's kind of what she is reckoning with. But more specifically in this novel, we see her evolve with her relationships romantically and then also like feeling liberated with her body and her sexuality but then also getting like i'm saying into questionable situations and kind of using the men around her as content for her own writing and she wants to become a writer 
and therefore she follows that like age old notion that you need to have an interesting life in order to write interesting things so for sure i feel like if scissor read this ansula she would love it um and then i think lastly the last book i'll recommend that i absolutely love and this is like an undercover favorite of mine is all's well by mona awad this goes back this is scissor listen she loves a good shakespearean reference she has a lyric from z i'll insert it here because i don't want to butcher it but essentially referencing desdemona in Othelian or Shakespearean tragedies and this is what Oswell plays on. It follows our main character who is a woman who was an actor but you'll see she had an accident which has caused her chronic back pain and like pain that's so crippling to the point where she can't walk or it's very hard to walk. She feels like a burden to a lot of people and through this it's called All's Well she wants to put on all's well that ends well however her students her theater students want to put on macbeth which you'll see is very very interesting there are a lot of like witchy elements and what i loved is that the women in this story are at the forefront um and it's all about how this character navigates beauty um the links to beauty and wellness and then also beauty or lack of beauty and illness um that is explored and why it's wrong and it was just such a good book i love shakespeare myself so i just thought this was brilliant and basically the entire point of this novel is to explore a quote here is you see brianna i say a display of wellness that's what's called for in this moment a performance of health so that the audience understands the audience will only know how deeply you have been in pain when they see how hard you dance afterward so very meta theatrical just such a good book definitely read it i feel like everyone talks about bunny by mona awad but all's well is my fave i haven't read bunny yet and i want to read rouge by mona awad that's coming out so yeah those were all of the books i felt like i talked so much but i hope you enjoyed this video i love doing deep dives into albums and artists and featuring books that i think speak onto the themes that they explore in their music so let me know who else you want to see i am planning a boy genius video so be on the lookout for that and make sure you subscribe if you want to see that um also like this video if you want to see more of it and thank you so much for being here i hope you're doing well and i'll see you in the next video bye